Here I have uh, Magic uh, Cloud Labs and I want to demonstrate how easy it is to create an AI chatbot that wraps your NetSuite account. Now if I go to Manage, I go to Plugins here and I filter on NetSuite, you will see that uh, I have a newly created uh, plugin called NetSuite. So let's uh, have a look at uh, how it is uh, constructed. I started it a couple of days ago. In total, I've been working an approximately five hours on the module in its entirety. And it contains two basic uh, folders that are of importance. Uh, it contains workflows, that contains actions and another workflows folder. And this uh, basically becomes hyper lambda workflows that are wrapping the uh, NetSuite uh, API and allowing me to integrate it into an AI chatbot very easily and very rapidly. Now, if you look at the magic startup uh, folder here, now it has a C sharp folder. If I rename this from .ro to .cs and I open it, you can actually have a look at how it uh, looks like. But basically the file assumes that you have a file called private-key.txt inside of your etc slash NetSuite folder. Now it creates the folder by default during installation. So all you need to do is to make sure you have your NetSuite private key inside of this folder. I can, for obvious reasons, not show you my private key uh, because I'm actually going to be working against the production NetSuite account in this uh, video. What this basically does, it uh, creates an access token that it stores for the duration of the token, allowing you to query NetSuite being authorized to actually query it. Let me rename it back to raw again and close it. And let's have a look at some of the other files here. Now, if I, for instance, look at uh, the um, create record here now, you will see that uh, it takes a type argument and it takes an object argument. The object is a key value uh, list of uh, fields, a dictionary if you wish, that basically supplies the values for the object I am currently trying to create. This allows me to create new customers, create new contacts, create new accounts or whatever. And this is how the Hyper Lambda code looks like. If you look specifically here in the execute box, which is actually 100% declaratively added to this particular workflow by simply choosing to filter on NetSuite here, at which point my toolbox will show me NetSuite get access token here, which completely encapsulates the entirety of the process of getting an access token, allowing me to invoke NetSuite. And then it is uh, creating a new GUI ID to prevent replay attacks, which is a requirement for NetSuite because every single HTTP request towards uh, NetSuite's API needs a unique GUI ID being generated to avoid replay attacks. Then it is dynamically uh, creating our URL here according to the type you want to select. And then it's invoking HTTP post, passing in um, uh, its payload and its uh, item potency key. And then it's a sanity checking the result and returning it down here at line 89. And basically the thing has an approximately almost like 10 files that are of similar nature here for deleting records, get individual records, get a list of records, including their fields, list records, which only returns IDs, and then the open API specification, which I guess is the only one I can actually show you, type contact, right? Because it doesn't disclose uh, um, sensitive customer related data. So it only discloses field names and stuff like that. And it also has the schema specification wrapper, allowing me to, let me see, why didn't that work? Allowing me to get JSON schema back. Right, so here you can see all the fields and the description for the fields for the type being contact, of course. So now, if I go to manage, I go to machine learning. Notice the only thing I did was to install the plugin. Then I can add a new type. I can call it NetSuite. I can choose flavor AI agent, can save it can go to my AI expert system, which I've already installed. Notice I've already installed the OpenAI module 
and the AI expert system module in addition to the NetSuite module. So now if I go here and I refresh, you will see I have a NetSuite type here, which I can ask questions. Now I can uh, now, for instance, uh, ask it, what can I ask you about? And here you can see it can list records and read records and create records and update records delete records, search the web, generate images, scrape websites, etc., etc. However, what's important for this particular demo, of course, it's the NetSuite parts. So now I can ask the AI chatbot to, for instance, find all contacts from NetSuite having a first name being John. Now, and this Part is where I actually need to blur my screen because I need to emphasize I'm working with production data here. Uh, so why didn't it find that guy? Because probably I didn't install the training data into it and I didn't. So now I need to install training data into it, add function, filter on NetSuite, to which point I can now, for instance, do uh, NetSuite get records install. Maybe I want to have another one, which is the ability to get an individual record. Okay, install that guy too. Close now. Now you will see two new uh, RAG training snippets being automatically generated, allowing me to vectorize these guys. Close this window. When this process is uh, over, go back here and just simply reload and ask it again. Yet again, I got to blur my screen because this is live production data. But trust me, it is returning actual data. At this point, I can also keep on drilling down, asking what companies does this John do work for. I can ask, you know, what related records, etc., etc. And I can drill down into my NetSuite account. I can also create new contacts, associate them with existing companies, or update existing com uh, contacts and companies and you know accounts and whatever marketing campaigns for that matter. Doesn't really matter. And this is basically the foundation allowing me to do that. And I need to emphasize I did this in how many minutes? Five, right? And it's a fully functioning AI chatbot with AI agents types of capabilities allowing me to actually use it towards my NetSuite account. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.